Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and today we're going to be reviewing the new Xiaomi Mi TV box. So let's quickly get started. Now the Xiaomi Mi TV box is essentially an Android TV box that Xiaomi makes but doesn't sell everywhere else in the world. So if you're in a place where the Xiaomi Mi TV box is not easily available, including countries like India, I'll leave a link in the description below from where I bought it and you guys can go ahead and buy it from there and these guys ship it anywhere in the world for free. If you look at the Mi TV box, it's an exceptionally sleek matte black finished box which runs Android TV. It looks sleek and it does have the same footprint as the original Apple TV but it has the matte black finish and it's much sleeker and much slimmer than the Apple TV. You also do have an infrared remote that comes inside the box and if you turn the Mi box or the TV box around you'll find that there is a power port along with a USB port, an HDMI port and an audio out port. The Mi TV box does support 4K video output, so if you do have a 4K television or a 4K monitor, you can easily push content in 4K to the TV box from apps like Netflix that do push out 4K content. Now setup for the Mi TV box is essentially plug and play. Once you do plug it into your main monitor, you can easily use the Google application to set up the device and as easy as pressing a couple of buttons, uh, the Mi TV box automatically connects to your Wi-Fi and then connects to your Google account to allow you to download and stream content. Now, of course, you can buy movies and music from the Google Play Store, but you can also download apps like Netflix to get subscription services from those particular applications to continue to watch your favorite content. Now, the MeTV box is still missing a bunch of uh, features and applications. So, for example, Prime Video from Amazon does not work on the MeTV box, and that's probably because of regional restrictions. And if the MeTV box does become available in India, it's as simple as a software update to enable that, and then Amazon allowing that to run on this device will make it easier. Now the HDMI output is HDMI too so you do get support for 4K and faster video and audio transfers from the MeTV box giving you a lagless experience. The Mi TV box does have a quad core processor and it does have a remote which is a Bluetooth remote which also does have a microphone that allows you to search for things using the microphone although in our case we found it to not be particularly accurate and we found using the Android TV app a lot more efficient than using the remote that is included with the box. We also found that using the app to control and navigate through the interface is much better and then you also get a pull out keyboard that allows you to type into things like usernames and passwords without having to use use the remote to individually enter each and every letter. The remote control takes in two AAA batteries which are not included and you do get a power adapter that will work anywhere in the world so whether you're in 110 volts or 220 volts it'll work just fine. The Mi TV box also does have two gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabyte of onboard storage allowing you to download games and apps as such and if you do have a gamepad you can connect it to the Mi TV box using Bluetooth and then essentially play games on the Mi TV box and you can also use the included remote to play certain games that do not require a gamepad which essentially brings your Android gaming experience to a much larger screen to a much more useful screen size once you get bored of playing them on the smaller screen. Now the Mi TV box also supports DTS and Dolby surround sound which is excellent if you do have high-end content if you do have high quality content with DTS and Dolby Digital Plus it should work perfectly with the Mi TV box without any problems. Now essentially because of the 4K capabilities and a whole bunch of apps and games that you can download onto this device and the ease of use with which you can set this up and get this going, the Mi TV box seems to be a much bigger upgrade than many of the Cast dongles that are available including Google's own Chromecast. So if you're looking for a cheap Android TV box that gets you going from the get-go, the Xiaomi Mi TV box is a good looking small footprint device that basically solves that purpose. You are missing a whole bunch of applications that a lot of people do use on Android TV today, which may be enabled in a later update. But for now, you'll have to stick with the content that's available. Now, if you guys are interested in getting the Mi TV box, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can also check out the 10 Xiaomi products that are not easily available anywhere in the world. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below as well. This has been Bharat. If you need more details, let us know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to check us out on iGAN.in. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already done that. I'll see you guys in the next one.